Hey guys, John here, and today we're gonna to do a video about black walnut. So, I just realized the other day that, actually, I think it was today, I just realized today that I haven't done a video on black walnut yet, which seems uh, like like a, a miss, like seems like something I should have done already because it's one of the most common types of uh, tree and, and, and wood in this area. And so, today we're gonna to be talking about black walnut trees and also black walnut as a firewood and whether or not uh, it makes sense to use black walnut as a firewood. So that's what we're gonna be getting into. Um, and let's start by doing some tree identification. I like to try to start these videos with a couple things about identifying uh, the tree. And so for identifying a black walnut tree, uh, we can look at a couple things. So I've got a few props in my hands here. And uh, one of the easiest things, if it's the right season, is to simply look for walnuts on the ground. So you can probably see that there in the video. If you're underneath a black walnut tree like I am here, um, and it's the right time of year, then you can probably find little walnuts like this, or they also have uh, husks around this. This is without the husk, but they also uh, have husks around them sometimes that'll be like green or uh, like black, um, depending on what, what shape that, that husk is in. So you can look for that. That's one easy way to try to identify that you're close to a black walnut tree. And then you can also look at the leaves. So I've got a leaf here uh, as an example. And a couple things you can look at in the leaves to help like narrow it down to see if you have a, a black walnut tree in front of you is the leaves are, they're compound. And so that means that uh, it's, it's, you've got the multiple leaflets all coming off of one bud instead of all of the individual leaves growing off of the, the twig itself, which would be simple, uh, a, a simple leaf. And so they're compound and they're also alternate, which means off of the branch, they grow in like an alternating structure like this. So if, uh, the, the alternative to, to alternate is opposite, which would look like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, a couple things you can look for. And uh, the, the leaflets on a, a compound leaf for black walnut uh, looks pretty similar to something like a hickory, um, a hickory tree. But one thing that is a, a little bit unique about black walnut is it doesn't have a terminal leaflet. So it would have like a, an extra leaflet right here if it was something like a hickory. And so if you're trying, having trouble distinguishing a black walnut from something else that looks similar, look and see if it's got that little leaflet at the end. And if it does, it's not a black walnut. If it doesn't, then it probably is a walnut or at least uh, you're kind of one step closer to identifying that as a black walnut. Um, also the bark. So I'll, I'll kind of go here as the, the final thing. So a couple things you can look at on the bark. Uh, you might not be able to see behind me, but there's a, a big black walnut tree right there. And the, the bark as it grows on, on, a, on a tree like this, is um, it's heavily ridged. So you can see it, it almost looks like peaks and valleys going along the tree. And it's like a light brown color. And if you go up to the tree and you kind of scrape a little bit of the bark off, you can see on the inside, it's like a, a little bit of like a dark uh, chocolate brown color. And so that's kind of similar in a way to what the, the hardwood looks like inside of the bark. Because um, if you've seen like walnut wood, like a plank of walnut wood, it's got like a really nice um, like chocolate brown color to it. So that's a couple things about identifying the black walnut trees. Now let's talk about it from the standpoint of um, firewood and what it looks like as a firewood. So let's start with, with heat output. Um, if you're going to burn black walnut, the heat output you're going to get out of it is about 22.2 million BTUs per cord. And uh, that's a number from Utah State uh, University Extension Office. I'll put a link down to them in the, in the description of this video. And uh, so that's similar to some, uh, pretty close to what you would get out of something like cherry. Um, so, so that's just something to keep in mind if you know about what you get out of cherry, then black walnut's going to be sort of in that ballpark for heat output. And um, if you have uh, some like logs of black walnut, it splits really easily and uh, it, has, it has a really nice grain to it, black walnut does. And that kind of leads me to a slightly different topic about black walnut, which is it is one of the most valuable woods for woodworking um, that exists. So I, I think that's one reason why a lot of people don't use it as a firewood so much because it's so nice for um, doing woodworking and making like furniture or making uh, different types of like like projects. So for example, I've done some woodworking with black walnut and I've made, if you've ever seen like a laptop stand where you slide your laptop under the thing and then you put like a, a computer monitor on top, I've built one of those out of black walnut 
like I made a design for it and, and sketched it out and then made it out of black walnut and it turned out just beautiful like the, the wood is just such nice grain has such nice grains to it and um, it just has like a really natural um, like beautiful appearance black walnut is a beautiful wood and so I think that's one reason why a lot of people don't use it for firewood is because it's just such great wood for uh, for woodworking and I've also like even small pieces of black walnut you can use for projects so like even little planks I've done some um, some of you may have tried this before, but you can make like pins, like writing pins, um, with a small block of, of walnut and you can turn it on a lathe. And uh, this is kind of a side topic, but I've done that a few times and it turns out like a really beautiful um, uh, writing pen and I've used them as gifts and things like that. So that's kind of an inter interesting thing. I'm um, going back to, to firewood. So black walnut, it, it does kind of serve as good firewood. You can use it as firewood, um, but not a lot of people do probably mostly because it's so such a good wood for other purposes. However, if you have some wood that's not really uh, the right size or it's kind of beat up or there's like something, um, some, some reason that's preventing you from using it for woodworking or from giving it to somebody who wants to use it from woodworking, then it's, it's a, a, a fine firewood. It's gonna uh, burn fairly hot and uh, it's, it's kind of a nice wood to split. It's easy to work with. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the summary of black walnut as a firewood. Um, if you have some thoughts about using black walnut as firewood, if you've used it yourself, um, or you just uh, kind of have, have a question even about it, I'd encourage you to leave that in the comments. I love to see your comments and uh, I'd be happy to, to chat with you uh, down below this video there. So um, feel free to do that and uh, until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.